Hey guys, today we are in Cozumel and we're going to a Mayan ruin called San Gervasio. We just turned down, we went through the entry and now we have to drive four kilometers, but we started to see all these uh, like remnants of little Mayan uh, things. And we were wondering what this is. We're like, we stopped to see, maybe it's a little cenote or a water hole or something, but it does look really old. Then there's all these like little pyramid things over here. Let's see. It's probably kind of like some kind of a well. Is that a fucking cave? Wow. Can you? No, you can't really walk down there. It's just a little. I guess it's probably a well or a cave. I wish I could get around to the other side. Maybe I'll walk around the other side and see if you can see. Yeah, I guess it's some kind of a cave entrance. With a little bit of water in there. And then they have these big mounds here. Maybe it's a burial. Could be some kind of burial. Yeah, I would imagine something like that. There's another one over there. But we'll continue on with our journey down to the real uh, ruins and then see what that looks like. Looks pretty cool from the pictures. So we've been driving by all these, what we think is gravestones like a giant graveyard and this one's obviously uh maybe a royalty or a higher class person's grave i'm just guessing here but i mean that's what it looks like to us and you can see there's these small pyramids they're all along the side of the road so i mean that's got to be some kind of a burial site or something i imagine Okay guys, we're in San Gervasio. Um, so we paid 270 as an entrance fee and then there's another, I don't know, like taxes when you get further in, that's like 85 pesos each. So I don't know why there's two different ones, but whatever, we paid it, we're here. Um, so here's like one of the main structures, I believe. Uh, this is the tomb structure. I guess there's bodies buried under here. The thing that one of the guides was explaining to me, which you can pay for another guide, it's 400 pesos extra. They talk, they'll teach you all about it. But um, the one of the things she was saying is that the reason it's not well preserved, like say Chichen Itza or something, is because the Spaniards actually came here and just like ransacked the place and destroyed a lot of the uh, structures, pricks. So now they kind of are just in rubble, a lot of them, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Still neat to see though. So here's one of the structures that's underneath this uh, roof to try to preserve it, I believe. Let's see what it is. Hey, what's up, bud? He doesn't. Wow, he's a big guy. He's got big spikes on him and everything. Uh, so this building is named the Red Color Handprints. Oh, there's handprints on here. I wonder where they're at. There's the handprints. So I guess these ancient Mayan people, I don't know what uh, they used to make those handprints, but maybe some kind of uh, material from the jungle or something. Cool. That's a big, that's a big iguana. It's got spikes, look at his spikes. That might be the, one of the beefiest rock iguanas or whatever they are. Yeah. There's green iguanas and then there's these gray rock iguanas and that guy's a beast. So these are houses, I guess. Um, you can see their little benches over there. That's cool. Everything's been pretty much destroyed though. Uh, here's another house over here. So we're just watch, walking up on some of these other structures. Oh, there's another, oh, that's that archway. We gotta go there too. Plaza Central. So this is the central. This is the plaza. That's pretty cool. We're all. Yeah, I wonder. What that is. Some sort of. I don't know. Um. 
But yeah, they probably would have came here and traded each other, buy goods off each other. I don't know if they bought anything. Maybe they traded. I think most ancient cultures relied on trading a lot until they created monetary systems. Maybe this seems like the main. So this is some kind of a throne and then there's six burial chambers along the sides. So probably royalty. And um, there they found obsidian artifacts and incense burning things here. So obviously a burial ground for maybe like the wealthier people or the higher up people. So what Casey's climbing up on there is the altar. So this is where they had speeches apparently. So the, the leader would stand up there and speak to the crowd. Here's the Alamo, which they said has been used for offerings to the gods, obviously. Um, another building that they're choosing to protect. I don't know if they're, I think what they're doing is they're rebuilding these and they're protecting it like while they're piecing things together. Yeah, you can tell there's new, there's like some new, uh, uh, cement work going on so yeah they're re rebuilding this structure here there's new cement work so they always uh they have to take all the pieces and try to fit them in where they belong so you can t you can tell that's a uh, painstaking work but yeah the Spaniards came and destroyed everything so they have to kind of rebuild it a lot of the a lot of the Mayan ruins you see nowadays they're they've been rebuilt even Tulum and Chichen Itza they rebuild them so so here's the palace. So obviously where the royalty would live. You can kind of tell it was extravagant at one time. So this is called the ossuary. And apparently it was for burying people. They, they buried people. Yeah. So we're coming up on this archway. As you can see, this is probably their road at one time, but maybe over the years, the rocks have pushed up and everything. Um, it's pretty cool though. I wonder what this archway is all about. Oh, it's a building. So yeah, this is the entrance to the city. So I guess it probably would have been guarded by people and then whoever entered the city had to pass through here. It's pretty cool. So Casa Grande is this way. Nohuchna. All right, so we're coming up on Casa Grande here. And it looks to be like one of the more intact buildings. Although it is falling apart on the side, but I don't think we're allowed to go in, are we? It looks like we can. There's, there's nothing saying don't go in there. So here we are up close, Casa Grande. The entranceway is perfect for Casey. <laughs> Mine people are so damn short, like, and then when I get in there, it's like, but dang! I'll hit my head right on that shit. That's beautiful though. It's cool. Let's go around the back. See what's up there. There it is from the back. As you can see, it's kind of on a slant now. Probably from hurricanes and earthquakes and all kinds of things. And then you can see how the the roof work has like fallen over. Maybe that's it over there. Okay, we arrived to what's called the Mercy Lago. And that's a pretty, that's a pretty good structure. It's well intact. Casey's gonna crawl inside. So they said this is the most important structure in the city. Another tiny doorway. See, they've reinforced things with uh, wood and such. Not allowed to go inside though. Just heading up on this circular structure here. I don't know if it was maybe some sort of kind of observation tower. Big old iguanas just sitting there. I've got a male. Let's uh, see, that's a male and a female. The males have the big neck on them. The female, look at her orange tail. Here comes a coati running down the trail. Look at him. He's, maybe he's gonna come up to us. Come on, man. Come all the way. 
This is not a quaddy. It's not? What is it? Oh, it is a quaddy, yeah. Oh. He didn't see. Ah, <laughs> shit. So we came to this big cave opening. Look at that. That's cool. It's kind of like a cenote with minus the water. And I'm going to try to jump down into it and hopefully I don't get bit by a venomous snake. Look at that shit. I wonder if this is like a sacred cave system. Wow. It goes back there. So you can see it goes way back there. I don't know how far. Or maybe there's cave systems that attach to it. I'm not willing to find out, so. I don't have <laughs> the means to go through them. Just a cool. Okay, we're here at the biggest structure out of all of them. I just walked half a kilometer through the jungle and look at that thing. I'll read about it. So this temple represented goddess Ixtel and uh, it's called the Tall House or Kanana. And they said it's it was covered in all kinds of uh, really nice stuccoed paint. You can actually see the red paint left over there. So it would have looked really, really extravagant, I think, in its day. But over the years, it fades. That's a BP going on as well. Another little uh, temple used for offerings. Some kind of little place of worship, or I don't even understand what this is. That's why you get two of guys like like these guys. But I don't know. Maybe that's to place some kind of water, some kind of liquid. So this is a little garden area, and I believe another cave is right here. Yeah! Wow. Oh, wow. Holy shit! That's deep. Can't even see the bottom. Oh, there's water in there. Oh yeah. So it's kind of a well, maybe they yeah. used. Oh, there's. A Oh. So we were just driving away and we saw this gigantic cave. And look at this gigantic iguana too. He looks like he's ready to whip me. You gonna whip me, boy? So many iguanas around here. Wow, this is a giant cave system. Holy shit. Chikawati. Kawati. Wow. <laughs> There's the entrance to the underworld. So they bury, oftentimes they, they explore these caves and they find skulls and skeletons and all kinds of uh, artifacts from Mayan people. They would bury their dead underneath here because they believed this was the entrance to the underworld. So it looks like it all just collapsed. Like there was a empty cavern and then the, <clears throat> the ground just collapsed in. All right, I'm going in. Oh, Jesus, there's bats hanging there. Look at them. They're shaking and stuff, too. Oh, there they go. They went back deep in there. I want to, I think I'm going to go in there. Oh, my God, there's like a hundred of them. Woo-hoo. Look at all these bats. Jesus. There it goes. I think the cave ends right here. I don't see anything going deeper. There's Casey. So that's the end of our visit to San Gervasio. Hi. And uh, I'd say it was worth it. It's not yeah. as extravagant as some of the other uh, Mayan ruins like Tulum or Chichen Itza, but still worth a visit. Cool. Anyways, cheers.